Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my friend Tiana. Hey y'all. She makes bonnets. Cause I know y'all was looking like, wow, well, I got this big thing on my head. Copy our bonnets for me. My friend makes bonnets. They uh, explain it. Go ahead. Explain oh, what they they're handmade from me. Hello. Silk inside, outside. Yeah. Two colors reversible. Two I colors will reversible. Her, I'll put her Instagram in the description and her um website so you guys can order. She has like mommy and me sets, all of that stuff. All that good stuff. More to come. She's gonna start with do rags and rolls and everything else. Twenty twenty one. So right now we went to Moe's and if you don't know what Moe's is, it's like another Chipotle but better. It's better than Chipotle. I don't think it's I think it's one in New York. I think. I don't know. I think Long Island got one. But um so today we're gonna be talking about our traumatic college experiences while we eat and we're gonna let you guys know why you should never go nah <laughs> you could go no, in you college, should go it's an experience you should in dorm because you're gonna die you're gonna hate it so we got these bowls from moles and moles gives you more than chipotle do and they're cheaper cheaper way cheaper like chipotle for one bowl is probably like twelve dollars yeah moles is probably like eight i think it's eight dollars eight dollars for a bowl and they get you get like the same not the same amount you get it's the same thing same thing um i got white rice i got white rice um seasoned chicken i got sour, i want to say cream cheese sour cream cheese beans yeah and then um a side of queso which is cheese you know how they know queso is how you say cheese in spanish I never had queso. Oh, Wait, where's mine? It should be in your bag. Yeah, that's the actual one on the side. No, they didn't give me no queso in it. I think they didn't. They did? No. Maybe she didn't. All right, anyways. All right, so for mine, I got dark rice, I got lettuce, dark meat, Ew, sour cream, rice. cheese, and some light beans. I don't know the name of the stuff that they call it, but that's what it is. So. I ain't had mold in so long, it's so good. I have mold in so long. I, bitch, anyway. I'm mad I got a fork, though. I want a spoon. Girl, what? Yeah. I'm, I was never that type of person. I don't care what it got with it. As long as I can pick that stuff up with it. You know. So, we went to college the same time. No, I'm lying. She left like two days before me. No. Yeah. She I left, left like, like, two days before like two days before me. Mind you, I live in PA. She lives down the road in PA. And... Her school was in a different side of PA, and my school was in a whole different side of PA. But we both had, like, the same sort of problems, <laughs> sort of experience. Drama. Drama. College is dead ass high school, part two. Part two. I think it's something good to experience, though, because it's, like, you get away from, you know, home or whatever. Yeah, my love, your father. But it's really nothing big. I feel like I only did one semester, and after that, I was like, I can't do it. August, September, October. I did three months. Um, I finished my semester unlike him. I did. The real ones know why a bitch didn't finish. If if you've been on my channel for a little minute, you know why they kicked the baddie out of school or whatever. But it's it's drunk. I don't I don't like how this tastes. This tastes like it's giving me movie theater nacho. It's thick. Mm-hmm. It's thick. <laughs> Okay, so basically, college is really just a big same scam. Thing. It's a scam. It's a, it's a scam. And for my college where I went, I went in PA. So it was just a mixture. It was Maryland people, Philadelphia people, New York people. Like, So all of us coming together is drama. It was so good. My first, my first little week in, that, in, in my college or whatever, I'm sitting in a little lounge thing. And one of the boys, he walked past, and he said something, and he was like, jit. And I said, what the fuck you call me? Because I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> and I, I didn't know what it meant. So, my friend was like, hold on. Why don't I have my phone? And he said, what's up there, buddy? And then he said, like, it was it was three girls, and it was me. And, and yeah, he called me a fucking jit. And I'm like, what the fuck is a jit? Like, I don't, I don't know. I want to like, up. I mean, um. Where are you from? Philly? I think he was from Florida. Florida? 
It mean like younger, like little bro. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, someone is younger than you. Yeah. Like, like cause he been in the school. He was grown. He was a grown, grown ass man. He was trying to flirt with you. Yeah, deal. He was trying to get in them. Anyway. So, stop, he's dead subscribed to my thing because he was cool now. Okay, hey friend. What? Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh, okay, mm hmm. So, um, it is like, it's too many personalities clashing. And, oh my god, don't get me started on the roommate drama. Roommate, oh my god. Go, yeah, tell I your story first. Roommate drama. All right, so my roommate, she was a girl from maryland she was you know a good girl good in school her parents think she's so innocent she came to college and just wild it out doing everything honestly if she, if she see this video i'm gonna feel bad because she's a really nice girl but um she you just, nice but once you get away from your parents she just really but like we wasn't meant to be roommates like me i don't like to be around people i stay to myself her she coming in the room at five o'clock in the morning waking me up drunk just a whole bunch of stuff. I had Ooh, to get I the locks. Yeah, I had to get the locks changed because somebody walked into my room and I was asleep. What? Like, I didn't tell you about that? No. Yes, I was asleep like 3 o'clock in the morning. Somebody walked in my room and me thinking that it's her, you, you know, I, I stayed like, asleep. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I was on the phone with my boyfriend at the time and he heard somebody come into the room too. And then the next morning I'm looking for him. I'm like, hey, like, where were you? She's like, oh, I was in the hospital. What do you mean you was in the hospital? Who walked in my room? You like, did not tell me that. I would have yeah, broke her like, up when I came to help God you move for, their God stuff. God forbid, like, somebody could have went in the room and, you know, they did whatever did they wanted anything. to do with me. It was literally, like, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. She talking about she was in the, in the um, hospital getting her stomach pumped. What about me? Oh, my God. Wait, you don't know who it was? Then, I, I still, to this day, don't know who walked in my room. Then, she's like, oh, no. I told her, I'm like, um, you know, I went to the resident hall. I'm getting the lock chain. She looked at me like I was stupid. I wasn't even told of it. It's so like... That's crazy. Anyway, um, my roommate was not that bad because it was my god brother. We don't speak now because of what happened in college. But my friends that was like that I was cool with on the campus, they roommate just to like put them out so they could they could like do the nasty and. You ever seen a sock on the door? <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. If a sock is on the door, all right. It's mostly boys though. It boys, was, yeah, boys do that. I was in a basketball hall. Like my hall was all the basketball players. Mm -hmm. If a sock is on the door, that means don't knock. Don't come in. That's don't come mean, in the room. Don't do that's anything. because that means that you in there you know, doing, doing the do. Um, don't get me wrong. I put my god brother out a few times. My god brother put me out a few times. I had to go but to the McDonald's. I don't and know stuff. how they be doing stuff on them twin beds. Them beds is little and uncomfortable. It's, Girl, I didn't even have a window in my room. That's if y'all go back to my moving college day, like my, I, that stuff is still on my channel. If y'all go back, I didn't even have a window. I keep drinking, but I want to let them know, like, if I don't drink while I'm eating, I'm going to start me, choking. Girl. So I got to keep drinking. That's me. But, let me tell y'all the worst part. A bitch used to be hungry. 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 They... Gave me a schedule, and they were like, on, on like Wednesdays, it was like, my class started at 5, and it was over at 9. And for dinner, the lunchroom opened at 6, and it closed at 8. 8, yeah. So, I'm still and in class. And food wouldn't be done till 7 o'clock. So, you go in there at 6, there's no food done. And you can only swipe your, um, your card to get in the lunchroom. I had three times a day. So you could only swipe once. We, didn't have, no, we didn't have a limit. No, we had a limit. But you really? could only swipe. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, it came with my scholarship or whatever. You could only swipe three times. Breakfast once, lunch, and dinner. So if you swipe in at 6 o'clock and the food not ready, you have no choice but to, you know, stay there and eat if you're hungry or you can leave. Me personally, after the first month, I stopped going to the cafeteria. I was just eating out because I had a car. So I was really going... Chipotle every day, everything. But that was me wasting all my money. I used my mother card so many times because when I went to college, my mom was like, I didn't go to college and work. Like, I, if y'all do that, I'm not saying that y'all... I did it. Hit 
Period. To each his own. Y'all some real bitches. But I told my mother, if I'm going to school, you just give me money. Because I can't, like, my schedule, because, all right, my major was culinary. So it wasn't like, I didn't have a regular day like everybody else. I had that class from 8 in the morning to 11. Then I had 1 o'clock to 3. Then I had 4 to 7. I'm tired. So I wasn't doing, you know, I use my mother's car. So Wednesdays, they used to, um, I used to have that class, and every Wednesday, I was hungry. I didn't eat no dinner. At first, I didn't want to tell my mom. I didn't want to ask her, like, can I get money for whatever, whatever. Man, I was swiping that card. But then when I found out we had a joint account, and I could just swipe my card, and it will come out of her paycheck, I'm like, oh, the fuck? So I just started swiping it and stuff. I could say my mother, she had, like, um, money going in my bank account every two weeks from her checks. So I was getting like an extra 200 every two weeks on top of what I was getting weekly working in Burlington, which was good. I forgot you worked in Burlington. You sure did. Ghetto. But anyways, mm -mm. don't be a bio major. I dropped being a bio major. My god brother did too. His first week he dropped it. No, his second week he dropped it. I dropped it like the second month because I kept failing the test. Yeah. And I was, was not about to have that on my report card. That was him. My, Card, my transcript so i dropped bio and i never picked it up i went into nursing nursing is no different it's hard it. it's the same thing i can't pass biology i don't know what it is but me and biology i never i failed it in high school like wait what's biology like what is like what's living like? environment i don't like that oh that's the science and shit yeah that shit is hard I don't like it that shit is hard my heart so i couldn't do it I had to drop. I was crying. I was getting 30 on my test. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Yo, you thought failing in high school was bad? Failing in college make you feel so, like, dumb. Yo, one day. And the teachers don't care. They don't care. They sure don't. One day, we had, mind you, all right, my major was, um, I'm just deleting Instagram. They, um, what the fuck was we doing? Okay. Before we even started cooking in college, it was culinary. Before we even started cooking, we had to, like, label the parts of the knife and the parts you, of the cutting board outside. and a bunch of stuff. Yes. So, I wasn't thinking that I was going to go into college having to know the parts of a knife. So, we had this little surprise the parts test. Of a knife. Bro, you gotta know what the bud is. The like the whole knife is everything is a different. It's a different word. And I came home the week before, and I went back to school, and I had missed the Monday, which was the day I had class. I just missed it. So, Greg got a twelve for my test. Not a twelve. A twelve. No, let me tell you about my teacher. I my cried. bio teacher. From the thing to my class for, to my dorm, I cried walking home. I, up disgusting. to my dorm, I cried. I felt so dumb. Yeah. My bio teacher, he used to, if our phone went off, you had to have your phone on silent since you walked in the door. I made a mistake. I was in a rush because I used to drive, I used to come home on the weekends. So my class was, my bio class was 8 a.m. on Monday. So I would be leaving my house at 6 a.m. to drive two hours to get there for my 8 a.m. So I would be rushing. I would get my phone on. My phone went off. He gave us a pop quiz. I felt so bad for everybody. He gave the whole the whole class. If your phone go, anybody in the class phone go off, everybody got a pop quiz. That to us twice. I was so mad. You did it twice? No, I did it once, but my phone went off twice that day. Like, my mom was texting back to back. So it was one of them situations. Mm -hmm. The first time he didn't hear it, don't happen. The second time, he was like... Why so, bitch, why the fuck... Why you ain't turn your shit off after the first... <laughs> I, it was such a shock. I'm thinking that, like, my phone went off. I'm like, did you hear that? Like... You know, one of them shock moments, and when it went up again, I'm like, oh shit, he definitely heard it. My teacher wasn't really. My teacher was not big on cell phones. Like, I used to be sitting there like this, and they'd be like, Justin, what's the. And I'd be like, three. I mean, you went to the ghetto school, so. I didn't go to. Bitch, no, I didn't. My school was classy. Your classy school, y'all was fighting with garbage cans. <laughs> <laughs> so. We don't get into that. <laughs> so, we both had a similar situation. We both had this little similar situation in college or whatever. She called me one day. Like, why I just fought? And I'm like, huh? Get him. So, I'm so mad at myself. Go ahead. Explain your side of... All right. So, anyways. And, bitch, if you watching this, 
You lucky I ain't running your shit. When I came to help my good sis move, I was being a nice person. But don't let me catch you now. So anyways, I um got into this altercation with this girl who lived next door. Mind you, she from New York. She was ghetto. So bitch, we on the same time and don't play with me. She was ghetto. So ghetto, yeah. She was real ghetto. She was from like Harlem. Mm -hmm. Ghetto. Yeah, that's what I said. <clears throat> Close to the Bronx. Hello. But so she was real ghetto. Just always loud. Just always. She was loud the day I came. My motherfucking chat. I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 like broken. Yeah, she Which just was so. Did? I think I'm crazy. She might get an SSI check. I'm mm -hmm. not going to hold you. But anyway, so she was really bugged out, like, always so loud, everything. So I remember before we had the fight, like, I went to her door, like, maybe once or twice, like, you know, it's late. Like, I'm trying to study. Can you just stop what you're doing? Why she slammed the door in my face? So I said, all right. <laughs> yeah, I said, all right. Cool. I went to go get an RA. I'm like, um, like, you know, she's making a lot of noise. So I guess the RAs went to her door. This is fast forward, it's like a month. The day of the fight, it was like November 4th that we had to fight. So, um, me and my roommate, you know, we cleaning up, we about to do laundry, so we got our door open. It's like 12 noon. So we, um, we doing laundry. We about to do laundry, so we packing up our clothes. Laundry was on the, um, basement. We was on the third floor. So we playing music, you know, not loud, but we got our door open, just chilling. Why this girl gonna come in my room and close my door? Literally walked in my room and went to go close my door. So I look at my roommate. I'm like, what happened? She's like, oh, she said she's studying. She just, I said, no, open that door back up. Because when I ask you to be quiet, you ain't want to be quiet. You gonna, you're not going to play with me. So I open the door. So I go to my friend across the hall. I'm like, why this girl just came in my room and closed my door? So he like, what? Come so on, now, on, yeah. So come now on. she, I'm looking at her. We stand in the hallway because I'm talking to him. Why she go back in my room and close my door? So I'm like, what's the problem? She's like, oh, I'm just asking you to blah, blah, blah. The girl just start, like, flipping out. So I, I go back around her, open my door again. Because don't close my door. Hello. So she's steady just trying to argue me, argue me. I'm like, girl, I'm not about to do this. Like, this is college. I'm not about to argue with you. So I guess I'm like, I go to my friend. I'm like, oh, like, come downstairs with me so I can find the RA or whatever. So I could, you know, so we could settle this because I'm, it's not about to be a bigger situation. We go downstairs. No RA. That's another thing about this damn college. When you need an RA, there wasn't no way around. Nowhere. Nowhere. But let it be the other way around, and bitch, they was all over the yeah, place. Yeah, all in your, all in your face, all in your business. So, it was no RAs. The main RA wasn't there. So now I'm walking in the hallway. I happen to see an RA. The girl. Ooh, excuse me. The girl happened to be talking to the same RA. So I walk over, you know, just to settle the situation, just so we could know what we could do to get over this. She yelling. I'm on the phone with my mother. She blah, 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 Just talking in her mouth. I blacked out through my phone. I just ran up on her. So now. Boop, boop, pop. Boop, boop, pop. You get dropped. So now we in the hallway like really fighting, bro. Like really fighting. Like, Wait. Them blue ass hallways that. Yes, boo. That shit like this big. Yeah, like this big. So we up here fighting. <laughs> fighting, fighting. We was both getting it. Like I'm not going to lie. We was both getting it. So. Oh, she was. Oh, she was. Like she could fight. She couldn't fight. She just was really grabbing. She was taller. Okay, okay. Anyways, so we was fighting, you know. She, um, so now the RA trying to break us up. You not breaking me up because why you started me? Now I'm mad, girl. Hello. So now the RA's finally get us off. I poop hit her with like an uppercut. So now she run in the bathroom because we was by the bathroom. So she run in the bathroom. So now I'm in front of the bathroom. I'm like, bitch, come outside. Blah, blah, blah. I just started going crazy. Like, I don't even remember. I just started going crazy. She's steady in the bathroom. She got her friend blocking her in front. The girl from this school over here. Say, I'm gonna grab it out. The twin. From West. Oh, yeah, bitch. I'm like, see you? You gonna get booked, too? Because yeah. you reminded your business. Anyway, so now her friend, mind you, these are some tall girls. Probably like, I'm like, Yeah, she was four. big. The girl that I seen, the, the one, the one that you for? Yeah, she tall, was tall. Tall, Like, so mind you, they both blocking me in the bathroom. So they call, the, the oh. RAs call security. So security on their way. So I see security down, coming down the hallway. The girl finding me on my way. I said, ran in the bathroom. No, before that, before that. She tried to pull up, yeah, she tried to pick up a garbage can and hit me with the garbage can. Like, you see how little I am, like, you gonna try to hit me with a garbage can? Me. So now I run in the bathroom, we fighting to get in the bathroom. Security come and break it up. 
So that was the end of the fight or whatever. Then they put my bitch in this box. They, they put my bitch me, in the box. They moved me out my freshman dorm to a junior dorm that was all the way down the block away from classes. That shit was so I had to drive to class every day. Like so annoying. They put me in like a I like that I had my own room, but it was like Bullshit. It was like it was that shit so fucking thick. It didn't even come out. out. <laughs> Moe's do better. Why is it not dripping? Yo, it was literally like my room was like a little box. I had my little bed. I had the door, the the the, the sure microwave, did. the fridge, and a, and a little window. But at least you had a window, bitch. I really didn't have no. And window. a little window. So I didn't have no. I used to wake up and not know what it was. I didn't know if it was yeah. day, night. I had no window. Like dead ass, dead ass, no window. So, I guess they moved me because they like, I'm the aggressor or whatever. So, they moved me out the building. She had like a restraining order against me. They moved my bitch because she won. They put a restraining order against me. All this other stuff. So, now, I was seeing how she ducking me, ducking me, ducking me. We finally get school finally done. She know I'm transferring out to school. Here she go texting me. She did? You ain't tell me that? Yes, I did tell you. She texted me on Instagram because I made a post. You did not tell. Anyways, you I'm, did not I'm, tell I'm, me I'm that. over the situation because I was so mad that I even and I went up there with I went up there with my friend and we went to go get our yeah, stuff. Yeah, I had to go move in. And I'm mad loud in the hallway, like, yeah, what she want to do now? Remember when I came when I when we when you when we took about the, the grenade? Yeah, think think Uh huh. Oh, we standing there and I'm I, I see her walk by and Tiana she goes um oh that's her. So I picked my little head out the window, out the door. I'm looking. Yeah, but the whole time, but wrong. the whole time that we was in school, I got banned from that building. I couldn't go in that building at all. I still was in that building, yeah, and she's seen was. me so many yeah. times that she never said not a thing to me. She said that thing. I seen. So I'm, I'm like, why? I'm mad loud. loud. I'm trying to be funny with it because you know I don't go to the school. So if I beat the bitch up, you can't do nothing. So I'm being mad funny with it. I'm like, yeah, because what bitches want to do now? But she ain't said nothing. She on the phone. Yelling about some check that her that these people ain't selling. <laughs> Fuck out of here, cause I want my check. I need my check. Where's my money? Give me my money. And I'm like, ugh, this is ghetto. Yeah, so but at least my bitch got to stay in school. Let me tell y'all, I'm not gonna get too deep in the situation because y'all already know my my side. Cause I got a video on it. I fought off campus. Like the last building on my campus was here. We fought like. Five blocks up, like right here. And we fought in a little dead end and a little cut block. We fought like nobody knew where we was at. They made it hot because the basketball team, yes, the team, fuck all y'all, I, I really can't eat with sports, but anyways, continue. Um, the basketball team, they, helped, they wanted to be so, they wanted to feel so tough with it, so they all came to my dorm, like my hall, the football team, not the basketball team, well, it was both. And when I had to go to the hospital or whatever. I'm not gonna lie to you, one of the boys involved, I would do him. No problem, hold my phone. Mm-hmm. If you watching this. But the gag is. Puerto Rican poppy. He already got dead. Back home. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to do him, girl. I was in his private story in... Mm, 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 mm. And it got skin. But... the um We fought off campus. I didn't even tell the cops. I went to the hospital or whatever because I had asthma stuff. And when I... When one of the girls maced... The, she maced the crowd and it got in my eye. I didn't know mace messed with asthma. No, I, I ain't never got mace. So I, I never know. knew that that could mess with your asthma. But anyway, I had to go to the hospital for that, and they kicked me out of school. Me. Drama. The little one that got beat up because Drama. I didn't get beat up by one person, though. Like, when, when it was a one-on-one, -on -one, I was winning. But when I started winning, they fucked me up. But anyway, it was animosity, though, because the, uh, the other boys that fought my um, roommate and my friend, it was over girls. Like, the other boy wanted to fight my, my friend because he was, he was doing the girl that he's doing now. And then the other boy that hit my guard brother, he just didn't like me because I was going out with the girl that he wanted to do. So, what's that? My cousin texted me. What'd she tell? She told someone that then. She took my Christmas gifts. I'm a small. Anyways. So, yeah, drama. You be hungry. Um, what else? The teachers is like, oh, I don't know. 
I picked a major thinking that it was going to be easy. Like, I picked culinary because I'm like, all we got to do is cook. But that shit was mad hard. The I mean, math just, killed me. Just, I, I don't have math. I don't like math. I still haven't took math. I've been avoiding math for so long. Like, I don't like math. Math will really... That's why I picked culinary really because I thought I wasn't going to have to do but math. But you got to do all of that. You really don't get into Yo. your major until maybe your third year of college. Son. So, basically, right now, you're just getting all the electives. Oh. But, I mean, my teacher was pretty cool. Like, my English teacher, she was so nice. She was easy. No. My, um... What's that class called that I had? Uh, I don't remember. She used to talk to us like we were slow. She used to be like, all right. She would give worksheets and she'll give the worksheets out and she'll be like, okay, guys. So you see at the top where it says name, I need you guys to just write your name. First and last name, remember that the first is capital. Like she just talked to us like she was mad slow, but she was dumb. Yeah, this is drama. Like it's just. It's the same high school. It's unnecessary say, drama. It's because a lot of people in there they have animosity for no reason. Yeah. Like they literally be having so much animosity, it makes no sense. And the boys go there to just do the girls. So boys, if you and, straight, and that's another thing. Everybody just getting passed around. Yeah, everybody on the campus. And college campus. parties are not what they make it seem. You gotta be there at eight o'clock. If, if the party started at eight o'clock, you gotta be there at eight o'clock at the time. Because school safety is um, coming to shut it down. That should be shut down. An hour or two later. Um, my college parties. They wasn't really on campus, but um, my the first college party I ever yeah, went to. Yeah, that was at the frat houses. Y'all had frat houses? Mm-hmm. The first, you went to one before? Mm-hmm. The first one I went to, the cops did bust inside the door, and we had to all run through the back and jump over the gate. Too much. And, like, all of that type of stuff. I wasn't doing that. Um, the second one that I went to, the floor broke. The that Meek Mill song, hold on, wait a minute. That's what y'all was dancing Yes, like, I wasn't even dancing. Ooh. I was sitting on the thing. I know you had to pay so much money. I was sitting on the thing like this, and the guy, the boy walked in the middle, and he was like, y'all, relax, because the floor, boom. And then everybody just fell down to the basement. Dummy. But the, the. But our frat houses was big as shit. Ours was big. Like, the girls in the frat houses, they would come and get drunk. Like, I don't know. Girls love frat n guys, or whatever. I don't want to say niggas. But they love frat guys. It's just a, it's a fantasy. It's like a, it's, it's a, a fantasy. It's, it's you want to live the college experience, and honestly, it's not worth it. The you girls get that blackout drunk. Mm -hmm. You don't remember what happened to you? I seen this one girl literally fall down the steps and break her leg. Like at your school? Yes, drunk. She literally walked in front of everybody. I know she was so embarrassed and fell. Oh my god. My roommate <laughs> went to a huh like went to she she went to a college party. She begged me to come, so I go. Why this girl get blackout drunk? I had to park my car, walk all the way back down the block, walk her home home. Because she was so drunk. She was telling all her business, talking about how she be sucking and doing this. And I was like, don't do that. Not around me. I got <laughs> drunk, but like luckily, like I said, I was with two people that I knew. I was with the girl that I went to high school with, and I was with my god brother. So they already knew that I like to drink. So I'm, I'm not an alcoholic, but... um, Bitch, don't play. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, but hold on, y'all. It's time to reverse. Yo, <laughs> just want to show y'all what y'all bitches bonnets can't do. Yeah, it's time to reverse. Just wanted to show y'all what y'all bonnets can't do. But can't do. yeah, so I was like around people that I knew already, so it wasn't like it wasn't thing. Um, I did see people doing like coke and Ooh, stuff in the parties. Not the coke. I seen like they would mix like four locos and teleport and. I Hennessy never see that, and... but I know we used to have like the big jungle juice. Yes, the big jugs with jungle juice. Yeah, I beer. Had that. That My jungle beer. juice will tear you it up. It sneaks up on you. It will tear you up. Y'all, if y'all go to college, make sure y'all have cash app. I think cash cash app because a lot of the the parties you need you gotta you pay gotta to have, get you gotta in. pay to get in. Not females, but guys, you gotta pay to get in. Not me, because I was the baddest puta on the campus, but mm -mm. um um girls, not saying be a hoe, mm -mm. but you get a lot of stuff. Use it to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Like, they would let... They would... The guys would let my whole they friend group They let you slide on in. so much stuff. The guys would let my whole friend group in for free if the girl that he wanted took to him back. So, we used to be like, bitch, give me your number. <laughs> and then my friend would be like, all right, 929, yada, yada, yada. And he'll be like, all right, y'all can go in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And we'll, all seven of us would just walk by for free. You know, like, stuff like that. Um, Make sure... Hold on, y'all. But anyways, the bathrooms in college, filthy. 
I had communal, so we all had to share. Everybody on the hall. So it was a split hall. Girls on this side, boys on that side. They had their bathroom that side. We had our bathroom down here. But the girls were so nasty. Period. Blood in the toilet bowls. We only had a janitor to come like once a week. Tissue everywhere. They washing their hair in the, in the shower, in the sink. It's just hair everywhere. It was so nasty. Talk from over there now. Mm -mm, I can't. Anyway, um, my shower experience was worse. Mm, I don't think so. No, I dropped. You know that face thing that mm, I uh -huh. dropped that in the shower. I said threw it in the garbage. Threw it in the garbage. I'm gonna tell y'all how my showers were. Yeah, I probably don't think I'm lying. I was in the shower right here. Look, Tiana. I was in the shower right here. My god brother was right here. Wait, what? I was right here. Yeah. It's a little wall. Whoa, that's how I was. was. My god brother was right here. Wall. Four basketball players. What? And then you had to like, when we walk out the bathroom, because nobody likes getting dressed in the... In the bathroom. In the bathroom, no. So we would walk from the bathroom all the way to the to my room, dripping. Like, I'll be soaking wet, dripping. I'll try to, like, clean over the towel like My roommate stuff. used to get dressed in the bathroom. I'm like... I can't. It's like, I couldn't do it. I used to get dressed in front of her. Like, girl, you, you won't have to see what you want to see. They said, girl, you see these titties. You, you gonna, could see. You gonna see this booty. But, I mean, I feel like everybody should go. Only because... It's, it's fun to experience. experience. You meet people. Like, my college friends, I love them to death. Like, yeah. they really well, nice Well, no, not people. mine, because those bitches is fake. But I, I speak to Jersey. Some. I even go to Jersey for them. They come to PA. Like it was so good. Yeah, they're cool. They're I like her friends. I like her friends. Um, I left college not speaking to my god brother. But I gained like but the people out there is fake. <laughs> <laughs> inside joke, y'all. Inside joke. <laughs> the people's um people are there are they are fake in college i had a girlfriend in college really and fake. all the people that i was friends with like the dykes the regular boys they all tried to talk to her oh he gay don't talk to him like i was but so what like girl she ain't noticed that let herself let her figure it out they was they would throw your name under the boat for some cutie cat in a minute mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. a minute mm -hmm. i noticed one of my gr the girls i used to hang out with she used to always be sneaking, like leaving us and sneaking down to go do the um basketball plays in the basement. Like they live in the basements. Yeah, all the well in my in my school, all the athletes they lived in a either they had their own building or they lived in the basement. And that basement uh, used to smell like like what ass. Like you didn't want to walk in that basement, bro. That's what the laundry it was, was at? bad. Yes. So every time uh, you had to do laundry, you had to be like. Because they smell so musty, like, so stink and strong. It was just disgusting. But, yeah, she used to be sneaking down there, and then the boy just violated her one day. Said that, that thing spawned. You know what oh. I'm talking about. Oh, my God. <laughs> Later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said that thing was. That thing was fishy, fishing. I was like, listen, because, honestly, I couldn't mess with them. Like, I honestly did not find none of the boys cute. Like, it was this one boy from Philly. He was so cute. He was my lab partner, but. I wasn't trying to get into that with anybody. I was like, I don't know y'all like that. Like, we only here for three months. Semester done. I'm not going to see y'all for a couple more months. I'm not doing it. Hello. And then people really begin into college relationships, and it's like, when are you going to see them? Y'all don't see each other if y'all not at school, and that's mad weird. Be fully in committed relationships, having sex on twin beds. I can't. It's the twin beds to me. I mean... Why are Facebook keep updating? But, um... That's it for this video. So make sure you guys don't go to college and make sure that you guys and get like, bonnet. comment, subscribe. Get your bonnets from T Bone on Instagram. Right there. I'm gonna put everything in the link in the description. And follow my Instagram too. Next time, you gotta do the thing. Inside then out. So until next time.